A new feature that Aeroscraft is going to begin to offer is texture maps of our products. Texture maps are visual representations of the stone material, similar to how our existing hatch patterns work. Hatch patterns are useful to show on elevations to show the scale and bond pattern of the stone used, especially for ashlar patterns. Taking this process a step further, texture maps add the element of color that can be used in model renders instead of 2D elevations. Instead of simply showing the bond pattern with lines, texture maps show both the bond pattern and color of the product to give a much more accurate depiction of the stone. As you can see in this overlay of the hatch pattern over the texture map, the texture uses the existing hatch pattern to ensure proper bond ratios and sizes. The finalized image file contains none of the hatch pattern outlines, giving a much more realistic look. Notice how the texture map image is a small representative section of stone. This section is aligned at all four sides to create a repeatable image when mapped to a model face. The small section is shown on the bottom right with the resulting image shown in the background expanded. For Renaissance textures, a 3 unit by 4 unit section is used so that color ranges can be shown accurately. For consistency's sake, even monotone colors use the same 3x4 section for their texture maps. Rock face textures are also provided for many of the Renaissance colors. Though not created as a standard texture map, multiple textures could potentially be combined to show custom textures, such as a band of rock units within a smooth faced unit wall. Eight inch face rise texture maps are also available. Some of the ranged colors contain more variation in the texture to show more complex distribution of colors. For example, Sunset contains six different units within the 3x4 section, while other ranges such as Garnet would only contain four different units. Building stone textures are much more complex than the modular Renaissance textures. Aligning the edges is a much more difficult process, but the results in turn are much more satisfying. Complex looking walls are easily created with one small section of stone repeated. Several color options are available for many of the building stone lines. Shadow stone textures have shadow lines added to the image to create the illusion of depth. Some designers who are inserting the texture maps into their models for rendering may not want the shadows shown as they will be rendering their own shadows in after. If this is the case, a custom texture map could be requested without the shadow lines. Such a texture is shown here. This is not recommended, however, as the texture maps do not contain a bump map, so light would not reflect off of them properly. It is advisable to show the texture with the shadows, unless the intent is to install the stone flush at the face. Applying the texture map to an existing model is a very simple process. This demonstration will show using SketchUp, a very popular modeling software. The first step is to import the texture map into the model. As you will see here, these are the existing materials and we are going to be adding a new one based on the texture map that has been downloaded. You want to make sure that you scale the material at the right size to make sure that stone looks realistic and how it should. These sizes can be found in a chart later in the video or as a PDF to be downloaded on the website at a later date. Once the material is imported into the program, it's simply a matter of point and click to apply it to the model. Then you can see the results with the material being applied to the existing face.
building looks like a completely new structure now. This process can be repeated multiple times for several different texture maps. You can see the results are the same. Installation guides for both AutoCAD and SketchUp will be made available on the website in PDF format. The following chart shows the proper scaling of the Aeroscraft materials when they are imported into the drafting software. This chart will be made available with every download of the texture map and also within the installation guides. The following few slides will show examples of texture maps that have been completed and will be available for download.